so we're recording. And um, so uh, fluid is something that uh, is, is a utility that can be used to construct a user interface and generate code uh, from this tool. So step number one, say file new and say blank because that's the only template that, that comes with it uh, out of the box and we say just new okay so we create a new object it tells us this is an untitled .fl I am going to save it under timer fluid project the directory that I specifically created to to, to do work with fluid and um, the name of my uh, thing is timer so I'm going to just instantly say save as, save this entire project as, uh, point it to this location, right? just say go right here, and I need to give it a name. The name will be class uh, fluid uh, timer, the timer uh, UI, how about that, user interface dot fl that's the fl is a typical extension for for fluid project files it's just a text file but it has this dot fl extension save so it gets saved then i'm going to say new uh, code and class create new class using fluid and i am going to name my class um, um, exactly what I did with this. I'll say C fluid uh, fluid uh, timer UI. Okay, so that's the name of the class that I'm going to create. No, no, no big uh, other additions here. Just click OK. So now I have my class added here. Now, in if I can, um, if I can say new code and add a, um, a new co code function method. Uh, if I rename this make window, which is default prompt here, if I rename it to say C fluid uh, timer uh, UI and use the same name as the name of my class that I added to this uh, uh, project tree, a uh, project view, uh, it will, the fluid will understand that I'm creating a constructor. Then I can say in this constructor I would like to have a new group and I'll say window. So it automatically displays this window right here. Uh, then I can uh, double click on this window and I can say in the C++ um, uh, section here um, I will um, uh, n n I will um, uh, I will give this um, a fluid timer UI here inside my class uh, I am going to uh, have this window created and I will name it M underscore uh, window how about this and I guess I will just close this so now I define this little window. It has no title. It has nothing in it. But I have this uh, definition. I will say file and uh, save the project first. Then file and uh, say write code. What happens after I write code, uh, Fluid generates those files for me. Uh, the CXX file and .h file. Let me go back to my uh, project. I'm going to say, okay, recent uh, projects, uh, one of them was timer.solution. Reopen it. So far in my uh, solution explorer, I have only main.cpp defined. At this point, if I could say, mm, okay, let me add another source file. And that source file is going to be an existing item from Fluid Project and this fluid timer ui.cxx and say add this to my project so then the file generated by fluid becomes part of what I do if I double click on it you can see that uh, it's really a generated file now so let me take a, a look at my notes here I think that I'd like to really be able to compile it 
by simply doing this. This is the name of my class. And by the way, there is a header that is also getting included here. This is the class that Fluid generated for me. Uh, and um, so this is the name of the class that represents uh, the window. So what I'm going to have to do, um, well, first of all, uh, let me save everything and just make sure that I can build all this at this point. Just test that. Uh, I do get some warnings because I didn't say ignore the, the library, but it does, does get built. If I try to run it, control F5, um, nothing really happens because the window is never displayed. By, the, by default, the window doesn't get displayed. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to save everything. And um, I think we're running out of time, so I'm gonna. I, I think I'm, I'm going gonna have to finish this demonstration next week, unless you want to stay extra five minutes so that we can get the window uh, displayed. Um, so um, let me check what I do. Oh, I never timed myself, so let me just save this.